Okay. We are here. We have arrived. It is part 10 of our video series of the Broken and Beloved Project in 10 parts. And then we're breaking it down, giving you bite-sized chunks of all that's included. And this is the finale, with the exception of the bonus thing that is only going to be mentioned to our actual 33 women. So that's save we're saving that surprise, okay? So let's talk about the last and final episode <laughs> of the Broken and Beloved Project, which is the magazine premiere party. So I, in the last video, I talked to you guys about the magazine, what that's all going to be entailed. So be sure to watch that video. If you haven't, go back and see it so you know what's going to be in there. But essentially, we are going to be throwing a party. This is going to be January. I've already picked the date. January 27th of 2023. It'll be free free for you and a girlfriend or a woman of your choice to bring along. So your responsibility is to find a guest who is a woman who you think might want to do something like this for our 2023 program that we're going to be launching in February of next, of the next, next year. Okay. So we're going to use this time to celebrate. We're going to do this at Gen Star Yoga because her space is perfect for this. She's got a beautiful big white wall that we can throw your images and your videos up on to a projector so we can all get a chance to witness. Not only is it important for you to see this in yourself, but there's something so healing and rewarding about being witnessed, about other people seeing you. And that's part of the reason we're doing this because each of you are gonna be on your own individual journey but it's going to be so nice to be able to come together as a collective and witness each other's experiences together in unification. We're going to have a DJ. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a bartender mm -hmm. and a little bit of snacky snacks. But most of all, we're going to dance. We're going to dance and we're going to have a heck of a time. And we're going to distribute this magazine out to you for your orders. Um, or just letting you take yours home and then we'll ship out the rest. We'll, we're working on all that on all those fine details are going to be made, uh, made as we go. Okay. So this is a chance for you to be able to come together to celebrate together with one another and for us to be able to introduce this program and showcase. This is my gala. It's a digital gala with a print magazine, something a little bit more tangible and for you to be able to take home everyone's stories. I mean, imagine, imagine being able to share this with people that you love and cherish in your life and being able to say like, I'm in a magazine and I'm on the front cover because I raised the most. <laughs> Isn't that going to be wonderful? I think it is. So here's my invitation You've watched all the parts. You've seen everything that we're going to be including in this program. And I'm just telling you that this is going to be something beyond what you can even fathom right now. And I'm going to ask you to trust if your gut, if your instinct is like, gosh, I really want to do this. What do you have to lose is my question. What do you have to lose by doing this? Frankly, there's nothing more important than you having the re best relationship with yourself. That's what this is all about. It's about changing the way that we relate to ourselves because when, when we have a good relationship with ourselves and we have a healthy relationship within ourselves, we are then able to make an impact, a ripple effect to our family members, to our loved ones, to our friends, and to our community. So I know that people say, well, self-care is, is selfish. Um, and I know that we're making a little bit of a shift with that. But I also think that self-care doesn't mean just a bubble bath anymore. Self-care actually means dealing with the darkness, dealing with the thoughts, dealing with the myths and the lies that we believe and actually doing something about them. Self-care means changing the conversations that you're having with yourself and that you're allowing others to have in your presence. It means being conscientious of the energy that you have and who you're giving it away to. It 
a lot bigger than you think. And I want you to be a part of it. So here's my invitation. Sign up. Say yes. Because you really don't have anything else, like to lose. And that's in my all raw honesty. This wasn't scripted. This is directly from my heart and into yours. And I'm just going to say congratulations. Because I know that the 33 women that are going to be joining me are precisely the women that need to come together and that need this and that desire this and are ready to level up in their lives and move forward with something that they don't even know certainty of yet. And welcome to Trusting Your Intuition. (laughs) All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see these registrations come through and to start meeting and greeting those of you who are being part of this, who are taking the chance and doing this for themselves and participating in this beautiful project. My love child, my story, all my life's work wrapped into one.